Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking a look at Mac X DVD Ripper Pro. So this is the Mac version for a DVD ripping software that allows you to rip, back up, and copy DVDs to multiple formats like MP4, H.264, and more. And stay tuned because at the end of this overview and video here, we're going to be showing you how you can save a really big discount using our link down below. So stay tuned for that. Now what we're taking a look at here is the full version of Mac X DVD Ripper Pro. So it has all functionality and as you can see here, you have the ability to go ahead and see the full interface. This will show you a preview window for the DVD you may be backing up or making a copy of here. You can see you have options here to go ahead and control the media, play, pause, take a snapshot, as well as use high quality engine, choose safe mode, decide on how many CPU cores you want to be used, and enable deinterlacing. Now the destination folder is where the actual copy of the video will go here. And then up top here, you have the ability to go ahead and choose where you want to get your file from. So you can get it from an ISO image. You can get the file from a folder. Uh, you have the options button here. If you click on that, you have some more options for the actual program here that you can adjust as you see here. Really great option like shut down the computer after conversion. So if it's taking a little bit to convert, you can have your computer shut down afterwards or even have it automatically add the mp4 file to your iTunes library if you'd like. Beyond that, it's a really simple step process. Three simple steps here. You click the DVD button to load your DVD in through your disk reader of choice. You choose your output format, and then you click the run button to start conversion. So I can click on disk here. I can select the disk. You can see I have a DVD disk placed in here. I'll hit OK. It's going to go ahead and load and analyze the disk here. So we'll give it a second. And as you can see here, we now have the ability to go ahead and choose our output profile of the DVD that we want to back up here. So in this case, I'm just going to go with MP4 video. You can adjust the quality. The faster it is, the lower the quality will be in terms of conversion. The higher quality, the slower the uh, conversion will be. So it's all up to you and your personal preference here. I can just go with low quality as an option for this test. And keep in mind here, when it comes to ripping DVDs and making backups of your copies that you own, you can do this for non-DRM based disks. So if you've purchased a disk and you own it and you want to make a copy, as long as the disk does not have DRM protection, that's fine and you're able to do that through the software legally. However, if you're buying DVDs or getting DVDs that have DRM in order to rip them to make digital copies or repurpose of uploading those, that is not legal and it's not uh, something you want to be doing with the application. So again, just as a word of warning there, make sure that the DVDs you have are non-DRM and that they're not protected so that'll work here for you to go ahead and rip them. You'll then be presented with the titles and the chapters as you can see here. So these are all the chapters throughout the movies that you can go ahead and jump through here. You can choose to disable subtitles. You can see if it has audio or not and choose the format there. You can even choose to edit the clips. So you can actually uh, cut and crop some of the clips as needed if you'd like. Otherwise, you can choose to merge titles and even set tags here. But everything looks pretty simple and straightforward to set up for me. I can go back into the settings here to adjust some things in terms of the MP4 video. I can change things like the bit rate. I can change the frame rate, audio codec. I like to personally keep it all the same as the default DVD. However, if you are, for example, let's say you're making a digital copy for you to put on your iPhone or iPod or something of that nature, you may want to re-change the resolution so that it fits those devices better. All personal preference. On top of that, of course, you have the ability to preview the video here on the right so you can easily see the preview window. And like I said, use the play and pause buttons to go ahead and do that as needed. And then when it comes to it, all you got to do is select the, of course, things that you want to go ahead and convert title wise and then hit the run command. And from there, the conversion will begin. Now, depending on how long or how big the movie is, from the chapters that you're going ahead and converting, this could take some time. You can see here, it'll show you progress and overall duration. So this will open the output folder when the conversion is complete. You can also have it shut down your computer if it's going to be taking a while. Um, but that's the basics of it. It's really simple. And you saw there is it's a straightforward process. Inserted the DVD, had the application detect it. From there, I selected my output format of choice. And if you notice within the output formats, they had a lot of different presets. I went with MP4 video. They have some preset devices there that you can check depending on what device you're trying to put it on. So like I said, if you're trying to put it on an iPad or an iPhone, something of that nature, they have some preset devices that are definitely worth checking into. And then you simply hit the convert command and you're just off to the races. You wait for it to convert and we'll check back in here once everything finishes. 
And just like that, as you can see, it's gone ahead and converted the sample of the DVD that I inserted here. Now, if you want them to not be split up like this, so I did it in titles. Some people like to have their things split up in titles, uh, depending if you want it broken down. However, if you just want the whole movie in one thing, you can go ahead and look at the merge titles option here. So this will actually make everything one simple file there. That way you can have the digital file easily viewed. Otherwise, you can see here, I can go and preview it. And you can see here, everything runs fine. It converted it perfectly here. Very simple, very easy. That's how easy it was with Mac X DVD Ripper Pro. Again, otherwise, I can run a merge title here where if I run that, it's going to go ahead and do it all into one digital file rather than having the T1, T2, T3 files there. That output would look something like this. You can see it just says Willy Wonka, and now I have one seamless file with everything here, even the menu. So that's the reason why you may want to go ahead and get rid of something like that if you don't want the menu options in there, but it runs one seamless file here just like that. So that's how you use Mac X DVD Ripper Pro to back up DVDs. You can go ahead and rip your DVD collection to make digital backups and copies for mobile devices, so on and so forth. Again, keep in mind, you want to make sure your DVDs don't have DRM protection on them so it's completely legal and safe to do so. Again, don't forget to check out our link down below in the video description. And if you use our code, you can actually buy it and save with a 33% off savings. And there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have no risk when it comes to that. On top of that, you can buy it and you get an additional $30 value. You get the iPhone video converter completely free. And if you're willing to add an extra $10 to that, you can take advantage of the Mac X Winter Holiday Gift Pack and get even more. This includes free lifetime upgrades, Mac X Video Converter Pro, Mac X DVD Ripper Pro, which we just covered, and a 5K media player. That's all at a value of just $50. So again, definitely check it out, see what works for you, see what plan you want to get, and make sure to take advantage of our link down below to get this really exclusive discount. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you enjoyed Mac X DVD Ripper Pro, and thanks for watching.